Do you have a mental block that's holding you back from achieving a dream? I want to explain what these mental blocks are and actually how they can be beneficial if we look at them in a very specific way. It's often the case that when we are thinking about doing something really bold or audacious in our lives or in our careers that we suddenly start to have these controlling or these restricting thoughts that start to come in and they just don't feel that great. We might start asking ourselves, do I have what it takes to have the career that I want? Or we might think, do I really know enough to run my own business, for example, if, if that's the dream that you want to have? It might be that you're imagining selling products or selling services, but you're wondering whether you're good enough or whether people are going to like what you do. And then we start to just get this sense of, I'm not going to be able to do this. And so all of these thoughts are mental blocks. Sometimes we can hear these thoughts and we can think that they're natural or true, but it really helps to understand that these thoughts themselves are mental blocks and these blocks are stopping us from taking action or achieving our dreams. Now, the first thing to understand is the difference between a mental block and a truth, because we might be thinking, oh, I'm wondering whether or not I'm good enough. And we can take that as, oh, because I'm wondering whether or not I'm good enough, that must mean I'm not good enough. Rather than understanding, okay, that's a block rather than a truth. So I'm gonna explain what's going on behind this. I find it really useful to imagine these blocks or these thoughts or these negative questions in the mind as what I refer to as threshold guardians. So this is a term that we use in fiction. It's a term that is part of what we refer to as the hero's journey. So the hero sets off on this wonderful journey and will always come across one, two, maybe more threshold guardians. So for example, if we take Luke Skywalker in Star Wars, Luke has this call to adventure, this call to adventure to leave the planet that he's on with his parents and go off on this amazing journey, but he doesn't wanna leave, he's, he's resistant to it. And so that's an internal threshold guardian. Or it may be that there's a character in a story who really wants to do something, but other people are saying, you know, that's not possible. So that's an external threshold guardian. And so the blocks, these mental blocks that we have in our mind are these threshold guardians. They're the resistance that we might have to undertaking something or this sense that it's not possible, this sense that we're not good enough. And so it's useful to understand it as a threshold guardian rather than something that's broken with us or something that means that we're just never gonna be able to have the dream that we want. And so, our thoughts and our doubts are these threshold guardians. So when we understand that the threshold guardian's role is really to test, to test the hero. Do you really wanna go on this adventure? Have you really got the desire to go on this journey? Because it might be dangerous. And so that's our brain, our brain saying, I'm not sure that if we go on this journey to achieve our dream that we're going to succeed. We might fail and that would be really awful. So these mental blocks are your version of saying, are you sure? But the trouble is many people hear that and they don't realize that. And so they think, oh, this mental block means that it's not possible. So it can be really powerful to just break it down to it's a threshold guardian and it's basically just saying, you know, whoa there, before you go off on this adventure, I just wanna check in, are you sure? Are you really sure this is what you wanna do? Now, many people will, I mean, they may be stuck here for years. I certainly know that I've had dreams that I've been stuck in and I've been really nervous about and I've not taken action on. When I was working as a, as a coach 
but before I had my own business, I was running a retreat and I was just doing life coaching on the side, but I always wanted my own business, but I was really afraid of leaving the security of this full-time job that I had running a retreat and totally setting up in my own business. And I had all of these mental blocks. I had these, I had these doubts. I had these, I had these fears that it wasn't going to work out. And so I began to understand that it was really just fear, you know, that was the threshold guardian, that was the mental block. And I started to get a sense that there could be another version where I jumped over that threshold guardian. So let me really break that down for you because here's where we start to look at our block in a specific way and then it actually becomes beneficial. So. If we keep with my own example, I was really afraid of starting my own business. I really didn't think it was gonna work out. I, I didn't wanna lose the security of a full-time job. So the threshold guardian was saying to me, you know, are you sure? Um, do, you, do you really think that you're good enough? So I understood that there was another version of myself that was on the other side of that threshold guardian and continuing to make that journey. So I was like, hmm, if there's another version of myself who's making that journey, what does that other version know that's enabled them to get through that mental block? So I thought to myself, they had an answer to the question. They were able to answer the question that the threshold guardian was putting to them. Now, it's really important to understand the answer isn't necessarily a right answer. It's simply an answer. And it's really, it's so, it's so important to understand this because again, that can be part of the mental block that we think it has to be perfect or it has to be right. If we're planning on starting a new career, like we've got to get it absolutely right. It's got to be perfect. It's got to be completely fail-proof. No, you simply need to have an answer to the question. So the threshold guardian was here saying, you know, do you, do you really think that you can do this? And I thought to myself, well, whatever answer I have to that question, the person who's continuing on that journey doesn't necessarily know the right answers, but they're okay with carrying on regardless. And that was really key for me because it got me from that place of thinking I had to know everything right now. And that was a mental block saying, you know, you can't make any progress until you know everything to thinking the person who's making progress is the person who's okay with not knowing everything. So say for example, you have a desire to write a book. I work with a lot of writers and they come to me seeking support because they wanna finish writing a book. So there's that threshold guardian, that doubt, that mental block that's saying, I just don't believe I have what it takes. So I would ask them, who on the other side of that threshold guardian, who is that person and how did they answer that question? So they might say, oh, I don't know. They, they maybe answer that question by saying, look, I don't know if I have what it takes, but I'm gonna show up every day. I'm gonna write for 15 minutes and I'm gonna find out. So not necessarily the right answer and certainly not the only answer, but an answer that has got them through that mental block. And here's where we start to understand that this is the role of those mental blocks. They're basically training. They're training to prepare us for the next stage of the journey. So they're training to develop our muscle. They're training to develop our mental strength. They're training to build our confidence or to increase our stamina. So overcoming that mental block is exactly what you need to do in order to be able to continue on your journey. We can hit a mental block and think this shows that I don't have what it takes, but actually that mental block is there to help you prove that you do have what it takes because you're going to keep going no matter what stands in your way. You're going to figure out a way to answer that question, whatever that question is, in the best way that you can and continue to make progress. So the writers, the creative entrepreneurs that I'm working with, that I'm helping them move through those mental blocks, we're working together to enable them to see that that mental block is there to specifically teach them something in order to basically earn the right or to be the hero that can then continue on that journey. 
And if you like the idea of being in this place where you can create and you can live and you can earn just the way that you want, I've prepared a free masterclass taking you through loads of journaling prompts, loads of techniques, loads of really great questions that are gonna help you come up with the answers that you need in order to make progress with your life and with your career. So you can grab that masterclass with the link below, just pop in your details, you'll see it in the comments below and you can start watching that today. But I would also really love to hear from you. Let me know some of the mental blocks that you feel challenged with right now. Let me help you understand exactly what that threshold garden is asking of you and how that mental block is essentially building you up to be the person that you need to be in order to continue to make progress and achieve your dreams really nice to share this video with you today. Really great, such powerful work to start seeing those mental blocks differently and start seeing them in a way that's actually going to help you make progress with your dreams rather than keep you stuck. And I look forward to hanging out with you on the sofa next Monday. Take care till then.